Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Blipbox from Sketch Audio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway to own a copy of this fantastic app, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So Blipbox, a great companion to Face Monkey from Sketch Audio. It came out at the same time. And um, it's a, a drum synthesizer, which uh, takes a lot of the feature from other drums, synths, but also Eurorax as well. Okay, it works standalone, uh, UV free, it works in iOS, uh, iPad OS, uh, Mac OS, uh, so it's a universal app, so it's um, really quite nice. So let's have a look at it as um, it has some great sound. Let's start with here the browsing P set, which works exactly as Face Monkey, user bank, factory bank, save preset, you can. Of course, uh, also do some output in terms of presets. And let's choose the analog here and let's try some sound. Quite nice. The sound is quite amazing. Really nice. Here you can see you can uh, maximize the top part of the controls as interface. You can, of course, go left and right with preset. Really nice. As you can see, as you hold uh, on a pad, you have the ability to set the focus on a particular pad or to remove it as well. But, but you also have the ability to copy and paste. So. So if I want to copy this, click and hold and I say lift setting and then I go to this pad here, click and hold and drop. Really nice. This is a nice effect. I'm amazed by the sound quality, it's so good. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Sounds like a transformer. Oh, fabulous. Okay, stamps. Great. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so let's go to the init preset. Okay, let's click them and let's have a look at the controls starting from the top left, the dual oscillator. Okay, so here you change the shape. So from sine to a square. Oops, let's go to the um, init again. Here we go. Here you can decide the mix from one oscillator to the second one to um, to mix and also to ring modulation between the two. So. So in this case, the first one, I can change the shape uh, to square. Going to the second one now. I change it to so, so here. Of course, you can change the uh, pitch here. And also the way that the second oscillator here modulate the first one. And this one is the opposite, and the way that uh, the modulation of the first to the second. And then you can choose the modulation type here, um, if you have it just as an output of the oscillator or after the envelopes. Okay, so really clever. So... Now let's change here the envelopes. You have attack one and uh, attack two. Sorry, uh, attack one and decay one, and then attack two and decay two. You can hear, you can change the decay. And of course, if you were to. change the decay for a second oscillator and you can decide also the curvature here you can go from a linear exponential to a logarithmic as I said you can adjust the balance between the two oscillators but you can also introduce noise okay perfect and then um Here you can do some distortion from wave folding to full uh, digital distortion. Okay, here you have your filter. You can uh, decide to cut off the resonance and the type. And of course, you go from a low pass band to high pass. can adjust the overall gain and then you have a, a fantastic set of modulations so how much the envelope one modulate shape uh, one or pitch one and the same for envelope two to shape two and pitch two but then importantly you can also decide how much of envelope one modulate the cutoff and also the output of the mixer output to the cutoff which is quite clever Okay, up here you have the usual um, settings for the buffer size, running in the background, the setup of a Bluetooth with a corresponding MIDI channel, then the pad settings for the velocity, the mode, the range as well, and something about the synth as well, the velocity mode, the intensity, root note, etc., etc., and then traditional uh, settings here to access the manual, tutorials, the version, and the copyright. So six, 16 voices, polyphonics. So it's uh, quite a great um, app, so please give it a try. Thank you very much.